All right, Richard. Uh, great technique today, by the way. Uh, it looks like second nature to you. Um, how you guys learn, you know, you're from Lithuania, right? You're also Lithuanian? It's actually the was Soviet Union system. It was still, so, it's the Soviet system, still, yeah. but you were a, an Olympian twice right, for Lithuania. The, because the Soviet Union system broke up back in 1991. And as my parents are Lithuanian, so that's why I just took advantage and start wrestle for the Lithuanian. Yeah, I'm Lithuanian. You're Lithuanian, yeah. your dad's Lithuanian, mom's Kazakh. Right. She's from Russia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so I don't think people understand. There's a lot of there's a lot of a wide range of ethnic groups from it's a Siberia, right? You know, whereas you have people who are like of almost Mongolian ex, uh, uh, descent to far Western European descent. You have Turkish. I mean, it's all these crazy, a lot of ethnicities. Fifteen different republics, different uh, nationality, languages. Uh, religions, a lot of diversity, a lot of, a lot of, so much diversity. Um, if you look at that, you know that's obviously you, we talked about how the Soviet system. You and I were talking today. There's probably 30 or 40 guys who we can't even, you know, we can think of names. Guys who couldn't make the Soviet team who would have been Olympic and world champions. That's right. I'm 30, 40. We're probably undershooting it. It's probably more, isn't it? Right, right, right. A lot of guys, a lot of guys who can compete on the high level. The sports-specific school. Talk about that, you know, you're in the middle of like the Soviet breakup in your lifetime. You're 15 years old when it breaks up, right? 16. You're 16, 16 when yeah. it breaks up. Okay. When, when I finished the high school, when I finished the high school, it's right there, 1991. So just, it's a real tumultuous time. How do you recover from that? And how do, do you feel like you were far enough along in their sports specific school and wrestling was your track and you had already had the necessary tools to to go and get it at a world level, you think? Oh no, it was enough time. As uh, when I started, I was like around 13 years old, and that's cool. So um, I spent almost three years. Plus, I went to the college, another five, six years, and it's all, technically speaking, a Soviet Union system. It's still good school over there. Still good school. A lot of techniques, good coaches. What's the biggest difference you'd say from sports-specific school and former Soviet Union, okay, Ukraine, wh wherever, you know, Belarus, Lithuania, Latvia, all those former Soviet republics. What would you say is the biggest difference between sports-specific school and how we do things here and train here? Well, the sports school, technically speaking, it's like an army. You wake up 7 in the morning, you have a breakfast, then you have a first practice. Sometimes before the breakfast, you have another practice, if you really want to, right? There's a lot of opportunity. Then you have a go to the uh, second breakfast. After that, you have a few hours of the school and a third practice. So technically speaking, they spend more time on a practice, wrestling practice or whatever it is, because we have a wrestling, weightlifting, uh, track and field, swimming, gymnastics. Cross training. Yeah, something like this. Uh, they, they spend more time on a practice than in a school. You're, 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 you're focusing more on the sport than you are on the education. That's right. But it's, it's education at the same time because you're, you're focusing on the sport and exactly. how to coach it, how to do it, mastery, basically, of the sport. Right, right. And uh, usually the guys right after school goes to the college and uh, they pick up the measure of physical education. Oh, they, 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 okay, they become <laughs> physical educators. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay. Your path here to the United States. You're, so you're an Olympian for, for Lithuania in 96? 1996 and then 2000. And in 2000, I was here in 1995 and a world championships, 1996 Olympic Games. And um, after 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, I have a friend of mine, and, uh, Vladimir Matyoshenko in Lassen College, which I communicate with them. And he said, whatever, well, you can come on a, on, a, on a college and you can join us, you know? So I tried. It was a good experience for me. It was fun. Junior college national champ. Right. You adjusted the rules. It's a different sport. Totally. You know, you got to get held down and get out of the bottom, right? You never had to worry about that. I never worry about it. It's a wrestling. <laughs> yeah. It's all about wrestling. And I Wrestling's even, wrestling though, right? Wrestling, wrestling, right. And I didn't know about that till I get into it. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's still fun. I have a good experience. So you for Lassen, you were junior college national champ. And then what's the Then next? I went to the New Jersey. I have a friend of mine who get the job for me. I work in a school, a special needs school, as yeah. a physical education, and also I coach the high school in Newark Academy. And the two days I spend in the New York Athletic Club, which is in a, in a, in a Manhattan, New York Athletic Club. Yeah. 
Okay, so then how do you end up in the Chicago land area? 2005, I moved to the Chicago, accidentally. <laughs> so you've gone coast to coast, and right. now you're you're in the Midwest. Not a lot of Americans ever even get to uh, you know experience. Well, that. I'm an immigrant. I get used to it. I don't care. I went from uh, Kazakhstan to Belarus, Belarus, Lithuania, Lithuania. I travel all world around, and um, um, I like the country. A lot of opportunity. Are you are you glad to be an American? I'm glad to be an American, right? And it's a um, it's a lot of opportunity, especially for my kids. For the family, you know, and I wouldn't, I don't know, I, I didn't see myself in those countries when they broke up. I didn't see the future, I didn't see anything. Do you think Belarus, Lithuania, Russia, whatever you take, you know, nothing. Do you think you're living the American dream? A lot of people, like immigrants, a lot, all of us came as immigrants at one point in time. Do you, I think, do you I, think you're having a better life than you would have had in... Well, of course, if I have a better... Eastern Europe. Yeah, yeah I have a better, better things that I would have. Especially for my family, for my kids, more, much better, more opportunity. I see something. I see the pictures in the front. <laughs> do you have? Uh, do you? Are you still passionate about wrestling? You know, it's something you did as your, through your youth, and it's something that brought you here to the United States. Are you still passionate about the sport? I do. Yeah, I'm passionate about it. I uh, love wrestling, and I, I, uh, I love pass my knowledge and experience to the young generation. Can the United States catch? Russia, can the United States, does our system, do we have a chance? Do we have a chance to Of course them? they do, of course they do. I mean, it's a lot of things, uh, a lot of things um, I would see, I would like to come differently, but it's not up to me. But I, I could, whatever I can to do, you know, to change the, to bring the new stuff and wrestling, you know. We got more training with more guys like you. Do you think that would help our feel when we go and we wrestle the Europeans? Any kind of different things you you take the school from the the Russia, the Asia, Iran, Turkey, it helps. You know what I mean? Get as many feels as you as can. As many feels as you can. Especially I like the the American way of wrestle. I liked it. You know, aggressiveness and then uh, never stop, you know, you never stop well, you wrestle here. Yeah. Alright, you got anything else for me? <laughs> I, I, now listen, I could do this all day, man. You're easy to talk to, you're fun to talk to. So, I mean, I got some Yane Govoro Poruski. I don't know any Russian. <laughs> I don't know any Russian, but hey, you gonna check out Russian nationals? Uh, Are you gonna watch any? Yeah. You watched you watch our world team trials? I did. And then you're gonna watch Russian nationals? Yes, I will. Not in uh, life, but uh, I will see. On video. On video. video, yeah. Of course, I like it. Because every single time you see the new moves, it's interesting. You need new, you, you see the new people come up. You know, that's why I'm going to the Paris. Yeah. Oh, you're going? Yeah, I'm going to the Paris. Oh, I want to awesome. see that. The, the, for example, 97. I want to see the 97 kilos. Sad life. Come back. Snyder. To the, yeah. I want to see that. Who doesn't want to see that? Yeah. Who That's doesn't want to see that? Hey, thanks for the time. Safe travels back to Chicago. All right. Yep.